The Word of God continued to spread and grow. These opening words of today's first reading reminds us that the Church exists to evangelize, as Pope St. Paul VI once said. There is no other reason for the Church's existence than to share the good news of faith in Jesus Christ as the way to live an authentic and fully human life. And so we hear the Gospel call of Jesus. Go out into the whole world and proclaim the Gospel to everyone. This command of Jesus is given to each one of us. But as we know well, it is not easy to proclaim the Gospel today. We live in a world in which the Gospel is often met with indifference, misunderstanding, hostility, and even outright rejection. In the first reading, we learn that prayer and fasting accompanied the gift of the Holy Spirit on those who were set apart to spread the Word of God. We hear of Barnabas and Saul who were chosen, anointed, and sent on mission from within the prayer and fasting of the community of believers. And in the Gospel, Jesus says that he comes as light into the darkness of the world, not to condemn the world, but to reconcile and to heal. And he acknowledges the source of his teaching, his identity and mission, when he says, the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak, and I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. As we continue on our Easter journeys of faith, may we find in the victory of Jesus' resurrection the power of God's love for each one of us and the gift of the Spirit that is promised to us. As we place ourselves before the redeeming cross of Jesus Christ, we are given the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and the strength in our daily witness to Him through our words and actions. Have a blessed day.